Well, this is the first time we've ever done a two-part one hour special for I Do Chicago Style. It's been so wonderful taping today and learning the ins and outs of wedding planning. And our next guest actually did a whole issue on events. So you guys are experts when it comes to event planning, not just in weddings, but I think you secretly found they all kind of align when it comes to events. Carrie and Alex, welcome. And of course my groom is still out here, David. So you did a whole issue on events. Okay, yes, so tell did. us about that. And uh, we found that um, planning a wedding or a corporate event or um, a fundraiser is really no different than planning the issue and, and planning an event planning guide because you just need to be organized, you need to make lists, you need to do research, and you need a team. It's really important. You can try to do everything yourself, but it's really important to have a team behind you. And that's why the TCW event planning guide is such a great tool year-round because you can look to it, and we've interviewed local sources, we have Chicago event planners, Chicago caterers, Chicago photographers, and they are giving you inside tips and great insight to plan any kind of event. And the other great part about the issue is there's a feature on Whitney's wedding where she reveals her entire timeline. And it's great for all brides, um, whether you're getting married in less than a year, like Whitney and David, or a year and a half, you can just take this timeline and adapt it to your own timeline. And you'll also um, be able to remember things you might have forgotten about. You mentioned David's mom's veil. A bride might have something picked out for her hair and think, oh my gosh, I forgot the veil. So it's really a great tool for everybody. We've had people look at the issue and they're like, oh, how did you do all that? And honestly, I get overwhelmed when I look at the month by month in eight months how to plan a wedding, but it can be done and that's the beautiful thing is we didn't feel too much pressure along the journey, did Not we? Not at all, But no. we felt a little anxiety when we were reading the issue and we're like, whoa, we did, <laughs> we did all that? of that. So TCW Magazine, tell us about it, Alex. So Today's Chicago Woman, it's the only magazine in Chicago that is for and about professional women in the city. Love We've it. We've been around for 31 years. We cover a wide range of topics from health and beauty to fashion to food um, to career advice. We really just run the whole gamut. We are published 12 times a year and um, yeah, we really just do it all. And the nice thing about TCW is we source Pretty much everything is local. All of our talent for fashion, we use local models, local photographers. We really try to stick with Chicago because there are so many great people and great resources right at our fingertips. And I know women is in the it's in the title of the magazine, but men read it too. It was amazing how much feedback we got on social media about the spread for the wedding. It was interesting because we heard from guys and gals that were saying, oh, I saw all these details. So do you find that, that it's not just for women? Yes, um, we do have a wide range of men that read the publication. And actually for our singles issue, which is coming out in February 2014, we have a section on the well-dressed man. So we kind of throw in little things here and there to grab that male audience that I think it's pretty special and I think it's something that they enjoy. And we have a regular feature in every issue called Wedding Bells where we feature um, wedding photos of couples. And a lot of grooms get excited to see their picture in TCW. So Did you get excited, David? <laughs> Might be a little guilty of that. <laughs> yeah. He so has it framed next to the bed. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's great for everybody. And on the desk and in my office. <laughs> it's great for everyone, and um, anyone who recently has been married can submit their photo to TCW. It's weddings at tcwmag.com, and you can see your photo in TCW, and I'm sure the grooms will love it. Yeah, so I, that is so much fun. I didn't even realize that was a resource for everyone. So if you're getting married, take advantage of that. It is really fun to see your picture show up in a magazine, not gonna lie. So let's talk more about this event planning issue. You really became experts in this because you were finding out all the venues in Chicago. Did you have a favorite? <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. That's a hard one. Um, I think what was most interesting for us in the research portion was there's such a big difference between a hotel and a venue. And I don't think we really realized, you know, with the hotel, pretty much everything is there at your fingertips with the linens, the tables, and if you're going with a venue, it kind of opens up a different, you know, different avenue where you can pick and customize your and that's event. That's where you bring in all your vendors and yeah. event planners and things like that. Tell us about a spot that maybe didn't know exist, that you were like, whoa. I didn't realize you could have weddings in Millennium Park. On the mm -hmm. stage? On the Pritzker oh. stage. Yeah, that was really cool. 
That um, is neat. Not in the winter or in the winter. They actually, no, they actually can close oh, it off. Um, they have like glass um, panels that they like bring, bring across. And we also didn't realize um, in a lot of, in most hotels, you can make a lot of changes. Um, people have changed drapery. They've changed chairs, carpeting. There's a lot you can do in hotels that you may not realize and you can find that all out in the TCW event planning guide. That sounds like a picky bride. I want the curtains <laughs> changed at this hotel. Um, another uh, unique thing is to look at the, like the Shedd Aquarium or the Chicago Staples that you might not think of using for an event. It might actually be a really great like venue. Museums. Yeah, were there any horror stories that you heard along the way? The good, the bad, the ugly when it comes to event planning? Anything that people should avoid? Um, Red tape, caution tape, don't cross. <laughs> You know, I don't know if we really heard horror stories, per se. I think we did speak to some event coordinators and caterers, and they were talking about, you know, crazy people popping out of cakes that were oh. wearing very little clothes. Like, that might not be I, the best idea <laughs> yeah. if your grandma is, you know, watching. Yeah. So I think things She's like that. She's jumping out of the cake. Right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think just being aware and paying attention to your audience, your guests. It's important. So you did a whole issue on event planning, guys. We actually are giving the audience their own issue today, so make sure to check out page 74. Thank you so much, girls. Thank you for having me. There's a lot of crazy people in the world today. Not much left to believe.